Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to calculate this integral. Integral of e power x into sin x dx. You can observe here, integral of product of two functions is there. Whenever we integrate product of two functions, we will use integration by parts formula. What is integration by parts formula? This is integration by parts formula. Integral of product of two functions equal to first function into integral of second function minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of second function. Before applying integration by parts formula, first we will check eyelet rule to identify which function is first function, which function is second function. So we will check eyelet rule here. I late. You can observe here e power x represents exponential function. Exponential function. Here e stands for exponential function. So you mark e. And sin x is trigonometric function. You mark t. When you observe this from left to right, which one comes first? Trigonometric function comes first. So we should treat trigonometric function as first function, exponential function as second function. So here sin x as first function and exponential function as second function. So I will write the terms like this. Integral of trigonometric function is first function. I will write it as sin x into e power x dx. In this problem, there is a small trick to get the answer. What is that? I will take this integral as i. I want to integrate this. I consider this integral as i. At the end, I need to find i value. Okay? Right. You can observe here, product of two functions is there and this is the first function, this is second function. Just apply integration by parts formula. First function that is sin x into integral of second function, integral of e power x dx minus from the formula you write minus integral of derivative of first function. What is first function here? First function is sin x, derivative of sin x into integral of second function. What is second function? Second function is e power x. Integral of e power x dx into dx. Okay. That equal to sin x into integral of e power x dx. We know the formula. Integral of e power x dx is e power x. Direct formula is there. Minus integral of derivative of sin x. In differentiation chapter, we learn this formula. Derivative of sin x is cos x into Integral of e power x dx is e power x only and this dx for this integral. If we simplify this further, what you will get? You will get that sin x into e power x minus. Now, how to integrate this? Here, you can observe that integral of product of two functions is there. That means, again, we are going to use integration by parts formula. In this problem, we are using integration by parts formula twice. So before applying integration by parts formula, we need to check uh, which one is first function, which one is a second function. We need to check eyelet rule. You see here cos x is trigonometric function, mark trigonometric function. e power x is exponential function, mark exponential function. Is it in right order or not? Trigonometric function, first function, exponential function, second function. Yes, it is in right order only. So you can apply integration by parts formula here. Okay. Apply integration by parts formula. What is integration by parts formula? First function into integral of second function. Here what is first function? First function is cos x into integral of second function. Integral of e power x dx minus integral of derivative of first function. dy dx of first function. What is first function? First function is cos x. Derivative of cos x into integral of second function. What is second function? e power x dx. And finally dx for this integral and close this bracket okay that equal to if we simplify this further what you will get sin x into e power x you multiply here minus cos x into integral of e power x dx direct formula is there no? integral of e power x dx is e power x minus of minus plus integral of Derivative of cos x. In differentiation chapter, we learn this formula. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Minus sin x into integral of e power x dx. Integral of e power x dx is e power x. And finally, dx here. Okay. 
and if you simplify this further what you will get that equal to sin x into e power x minus cos x into e power x here plus of minus is what minus integral of sin x into e power x dx here actually left hand side what is there left hand side i is there okay that equal to sin x into e power x minus cos x into e power x you see what is this uh, integral of sin x into e power x dx you see here integral of sin x into e power x dx we consider it as i now so here what we will write this is minus i i hope you are understanding now you take minus i to this side what you will get i plus i is 2i 2i equal to sin x into e power x minus cos x into e power x actually what you want to calculate you want to calculate i here as integration is completed i will write integral constant plus c now actually i want to calculate i from this you can write i what is i you divide or you take this 2 to this side take 2 to this side what you will get 1 by 2 into this whole expression you can observe here i can take e power x common here so what you will get e power x is common and you take 2 to this side what you will get e power x divided by 2 into sin x minus cos x plus c that's it